Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here, I'm at the Leadbetter Indoor Academy Bangkok. And today's video is about the grip, but what are the differences from when you're potting to when you're using an iron or, or a wood? And there, there is a big difference. And one of the issues you can sometimes get is if you're somebody that maybe experienced a beginner's program, like especially if it was in a group environment, Sometimes the coach will insinuate that the grip remains the same throughout all of your golf shots. Uh, you could argue that's incorrect. You could also argue it keeps it simplistic at the time. It allows you to start enjoying this game rather than getting confused. So th that's a different topic, and you could argue for and against, but I can assure you there certainly is quite a big difference. And what you've got to consider is what we're ex needing and what we're expecting from the movement. So whereas your potting stroke, we're not using the wrist at all, the head is moving slow, we don't want any of this movement because then it makes it very hard to control. So that is the potting movement. Since we've got an iron in our hand, we're using the wrist more. We need to use the wrist for speed generation and to allow you to swing on an arc with the body and then be able to release the club through impact. So whereas wrist involvement is quite important with the long game, we want none with the putter. So now that we've looked at it in those quite simple terms, we're going to need different grips. So with the putter, we're far more into the palms. We're going to have the, the hands are actually going to be very much onto the grip, it's going to feel very restricted and the hands are going to be pretty much parallel with each other, straight down the shaft. So if we, if we look from this, look, we are not twisted around at all. So that is the putter grip and it's designed to put a break onto the wrists because we don't want them involved. What you'll see with the putter grip is when we're here, is this left wrist is flat. And it being flat looks quite neat. And again, for the putter, that's correct. But for the iron, it's not. And I think this is one of the biggest problems I see with the amateur's grip, is by trying to apply a putter style grip to their full swing, although it feels more in control, you don't have the chance to use the wrists it makes it very hard then to swing the club. So where is this left wrist is flat with the putter? We need to get far more up into the fingers and across the palm, get a few more knuckles showing, but we're also going to see an angle between the wrist and the hand. It's quite nice. David has a good drill where he gets you to put the club face level with your feet, hold it across, so when you hold it across in this position here, the arm is parallel with the face, but the wrist is flat. As soon as we come back around and put it forwards, this flatness turns into a bit of cock. And this wrist cock is needed to hit some good shots. So don't be afraid to have a grip in your iron play and your, your woods that feels a, less, a little less control than the one you use with the putter. Because as the movements are very different, we want slightly different grips and the, uh, slightly different feelings. So we, having the club feel like it can do a bit of movement in the wrist with the long game is actually going to really benefit you. So it might feel a little less in control, but you will definitely get benefits. So quick video. Um, haven't gone into too much detail. I'm just really, the take home message is there are differences. So if you are really confused with your grip, I would go get a lesson or really try and study the differences. Because if you try and apply a one-size-fits-all kind of approach, you'll probably find either the putting or the long game will be very good, but both won't be reacting together particularly well, so you'll still be struggling with scoring. So again, like I say, I hope this helps. Get some comments down below. Were you aware of this, or have you been trying to apply the same grip? Are you somebody that ha finds it very easy to do one of the grips, but the other one feels a bit alien? Love to hear what you've got to say. Hope to catch you soon.